You know, I was skeptical about this little show when my husband, who is my branding consultant, suggested it, because I'm not really one for getting in front of the camera. I prefer to stay holed up in my room where nobody has to see me and I don't have to put on makeup. But I'm enjoying trying to figure out what to wear each week so you don't figure out that I only have seven shirts hanging in my closet because my kids have ruined the rest. I know I said I would be immersed in science fiction and fantasy for the next few months, but I was hijacked by Judy Bloom's new book, In the Unlikely Event. Hijacked because I put it on hold at our library, behind about 200 people, and my turn finally came. So I have to finish close to 400 pages in the next couple of weeks. I grew up reading Judy Bloom and was very excited that she had written a new book. Bloom has a way of creating such believable characters and events and keeping a reader engaged from start to finish. She tells the truth, and I love this about her. In the Unlikely Event follows several characters through three tragic plane crashes in their small town. It is sad and funny and beautiful, and above all, entertaining, exploring things like family and young love and loss. Everything I've come to expect from Bloom. This week I'm trying to spend more time on crafting just the right bio on my website and social media pages and my platforms on Huffington Post, Scary Mommy, and other parenting sites where my essays have appeared. I've been diligently studying other people's bios and taking notes about what I like and what I don't like, so you might notice subtle changes coming to my profiles across the web. My husband and I are also working on making navigation easier on my website, so changes will be coming soon and forever after probably because I'm a perfectionist and it's not easy to please a perfectionist. Poor guy. Right now I'm reading a business writing book called The Author Training Manual by Nina Amir that goes through everything you need to know about being an author, including attitude, looking objectively at your book ideas, building a platform, conducting book launches, and pursuing publication. It's a helpful guide to have on any writer's shelf. I mentioned last week that writing felt a little difficult to me, even though I still logged a lot of words. After thinking about it for a while, I pinpointed the reason. Right now I'm working on two projects that are told from the third person point of view. This is not a point of view that comes naturally to me. I typically gravitate toward first person point of view. It's just easier for me. I get to know my characters so well that I really feel comfortable taking on their skin and writing their stories from there. And I found myself struggling to write from the unaffected position of third person. But I'm also constantly trying to grow and improve as a writer. It doesn't improve my craft in any way to stay where I'm comfortable. So I'm willing to sacrifice a few thousand words a week to become more comfortable writing in a viewpoint that doesn't come naturally, yet. Every week I struggle is another week I get better. My husband and I just started the second season of Game of Thrones. We've gone back and forth about watching this series because the story is fantastic. I know this because I've read all the books. But I don't normally watch movies or shows that have a whole lot of graphic violence and nudity. But I also hate to leave a good story behind, so I'm willing to give it a chance. Since I'll be releasing the Ferrandale story as an episodic series, it's been helpful for me to watch how episodes are done. The loose ends that are left at the end of an episode, the way a season closes out, how viewpoints are switched in the course of 45 minutes. I'm constantly learning from the shows we watch, and Game of Thrones is no exception. If you want to know more about what inspires me in my daily writing, or get access to new projects, or read The Midnight Hour, a romance mystery thriller that's only available to email subscribers, sign up for my email list. I'm also very interested in answering any questions you might have about my writing process, my workspace, or how I possibly get anything done with six kids. So if you have them, leave them in the comments. And for more on my shelf, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. And for more on my shelf, subscribe to my YouTube. 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 YouTube channel.